Welcome back to the Nokomis Craft Room. I'm Miss Grace, and today we will be using more of our popsicle sticks to make these cute little sleds to hang on our trees, or maybe use them for our toys. I'll show you how to do it. Let's begin. First, let's talk about what we need. You're going to need popsicle sticks. For this project, you'll want two different sizes, the little short ones, and the regular long ones. If you don't have short ones, you can cut these in half like I did for this sled to make them the right size. The tool I like to use for cutting them in half are these heavy duty wire cutters. But if you don't have those, you can use scissors or an X-Acto knife, but you'll need a parent's help cutting them. You're also going to need some regular school glue to glue them together, some paint. I like red for a sled, but you can use any color that makes you happy, and a little piece of string to make a loop for hanging on the tree. So let's get started. To make the base of the sled, you're going to want four of the little popsicle sticks. You're going to take your glue and glue them together by the side. So you put a little bit here and smush them together. I have some parchment paper here to protect my surface. When you do this, you're going to want your two middle pieces to stick out just a little bit further than the two end pieces. The great thing about using Elmer's school glue is you can smooth it down. You can even smear the glue on top. That kind of helps it to stick. And it'll dry nice and flat. But the problem with Elmer's school glue is you have to wait for it to dry. Now, if I didn't have the little tiny sticks, I could use the regular size popsicle sticks and maybe a fatter size and make this larger sled like I did before. Or like I said, you could cut them down. And I'll show you, you can take a regular popsicle stick and you can take your wire cutters or your scissors and go right about in the middle. And it doesn't cut very well. Oh, there we did it. Like I said, get a grown up to help you cut. And then you have popsicle sticks that are about the same size as the small ones. Cut another one. You're gonna have to cut five. So you cut two in half. And then you're gonna need one more to go across, oops, to go across for the top. So now that our popsicle sticks are dry, it's time to glue the rails on. For this, you're gonna to wanna to take your Elmer's glue and put it on the edge of your outside popsicle stick. You wanna put the rail on and you wanna make sure that there's more sticking out in the front or the top than in the back. You also want to make sure that they're kind of even in the back. Oh, we're going to have to wait for this to dry again. If you're having trouble getting your popsicle sticks to stay stuck together, I'm going to show you a little trick to make them a little bit more stable. So first we're going to get our four popsicle sticks lined up. Then we need to do some cutting here. We're going to take another popsicle stick. We want to cut it to be about the same size as the width of our popsicle sticks. So you might have to cut a few ends off to make it the right length. You'll want two of those. So let me cut another one here. I'm 
measured about this. That looks about right. I score them with my cutter and then I just break them. All right, you're gonna use these for support. So we're gonna do like before. We're gonna glue our edges. And we're gonna put them in the right order so that we've got them a little bit taller on top. Just like this. But now, to give us a little bit extra support, we're gonna take those pieces that we cut, we're gonna take the flat side, and we're gonna glue one towards the top, we're gonna to glue one towards the bottom. Oops. And this is just gonna give us a little bit more stability because it gives them a little bit more to hold on to. Sometimes your edges don't want to hold on to each other because there's just a little bit there. So after this dries, you're going to take your rails and you're just going to put glue on those little bumps. Now this might make it harder to stay because there's less for it to stick to. But it might be less frustrating than having your whole sled come apart. All right, we'll let that dry. Okay, so now that our sleds are dry, we're gonna flip them over. Sometimes they might stick to your parchment, you just peel them off. And now we're going to take our next stick, we're gonna glue it to the front. Just like this. Let's see. And then I'm going to glue this one too. All right, just like that. Now it's time to add some decoration. I like to paint the tops of my sleds red and I like to keep the rails just the normal brown color, but you can do whatever you want. I have also seen people use colored washi tape and you can stick it on and make all different kinds of designs. Um, you could also use a different color. I have some white here. And we'll try that. Now after your sleds are all painted and dried, it's time to glue on the string. You want about four or five inches. And you can take your Elmer's glue or you can take some hot glue if you have it. You'll need some grown-ups help with the hot glue though. And you put your strings just on, I'll show you here, the side of the rail. Just like this. There's the first one. 
I'm gonna put some on here. I forgot to get my string for that one. And now your sleds are ready to hang on the tree. If you want, you can put some little embellishments on here. I've seen people look, put a little piece of um, fake Christmas tree on it. I've seen people put bells on it. If you have little Christmas bulbs, you can glue them to them. But I like to leave them plain because that way my toys can use them as sleds too. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you had fun making our sleds. Remember to subscribe to our channel or follow our Facebook page, Nokomis Montessori North PTO, to find out when we post new videos. And until next time, stay crafty.